I want to give you some tips for mounting the WGG29. This video does not replace reading and obeying the operating instructions. Only qualified personnel is allowed to do the work. Check that the serial numbers are identical on the motor and the frame parts. Clean the machine. The frame parts have to be blank. Insert the tubular motor. Use the bolt and the groove in the motor for precise positioning. Tighten the four M20 screws. The tubular motor must flush with the lower frame. Mount the upper frame with three screws. Check if both frame parts fit exactly. Screw both frame parts tightly with 22 screws. Tightening torque is 900 Newton meter. Check again that the frame parts fit exactly. Tighten the screws at the tubular motor with 510 Newton meters tightening torque. Now mount the traction sheaf. The precise alignment 
of the traction sheaf is important. Insert the clamping ring into the traction sheaf bore. The clamping ring has to be pushed to a recognizable end stop. Tighten the screws of the clamping ring according to the operating instructions. Check the concentricity of the brake disc. Now mount the brakes. Pay attention to the label on the brakes. It shows the mounting position, which is defined by the arrows pointing vertically upwards. First, mount the brake at one side. Therefore, connect the brake to the brake controller. Then release the brake electrically. For complete opening, use the manual release lever. Then thread the brake on the brake disc and fix the brake with the screws. Tightening torque is 710 Newton meter. Check the brakes three times. Therefore, release and close the brakes electrically. Then, with a closed brake, tighten the screws with 10 Newton meter. Release the brakes electrically and check the air gap. It has to be approximately 0.2 mm at the inner and the outer side of the brake. Finally, lay the brake cable correctly.